Good evening. We gather here on the longest night. We gather here at a time when we are expected to be merry and happy and excited about the coming holiday. Maybe there are times that we are, but then there are also other times. There are times when we are overcome with sadness and grief. We look around us and see so much pain and suffering in our lives and in our world. So we come. We come here on this longest night just to be. We come to sit in the darkness and acknowledge that not everything is merry and happy. And that's okay. We come on this night also to seek the one who offers us a joy that the world cannot give us, neither can it take it away from us. May you find some hope and comfort in knowing that you are not alone in the darkness. Please join me in singing in the bleak midwinter, hymn number 128. <clears throat> Please be near us. 
We gather here to confront our pain in the midst of the world celebration. Help us to know you are present with us in all our moods and feelings and seasons. Grant us a taste of hope, peace, joy, and love that you have promised to all of your people in the gift of Jesus, your Son, and our Savior. Amen. The first candle represents the hope that the Christmas story offers to us. We remember that God, who shares our lives, promises a day when there will be no more suffering and no more pain. The second candle represents the peace that the Christmas story offers to us. We remember that God, who shares our lives, promises a day when wars will be no more and all will live in harmony. The third candle represents the joy that the Christmas story offers to us. We remember that God, who shares our life, promises a day when all tears will be dried and all will live in joy. The fourth candle represents the love that the Christmas story offers to us. We remember that God who shares our lives promises a day when all people will share in compassion, empathy, and love. May the light of these candles Light the hope, peace, joy, and love of Christ in our hearts, now and always. Amen. Hear these words from Psalm 22. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from helping me, from the woo words of my groaning? Oh my God, I cry by day, but you do not answer, and by night, but find no rest. Yet you are holy, enthroned on the praises of Israel. In you our ancestors trusted, they trusted, and you delivered them. To you they cried and were saved, in you they trusted, and were not put to shame. But I am a worm and not a human, scorned by others and despised by the people. All who see me mock me, they make mouths at me, they shake their heads. Commit your cause to the Lord. Let him deliver. Let him rescue the one in whom he delights. Yet it was you who took me from the womb. You kept me safe at my mother's breast. I knew I was cast from my birth, and since my mother bore me, you have been my God. May God have a blessing to these readings. Fear the dark. We fear the shadows that lurk at the edge of our vision, vision blocking our sight. We fear the unknown, what we do not know, and what lies unseen. We fear the pain that we may feel from loss, dissatisfaction, disappointment. We fear the worry of the future and consequences of the past. We fear the dark. But the dark is a gift, a time of healing and rest, a time of germination and rebirth, a time of reflection and renewal. Embrace the darkness, accept the gifts it offers. Without shadows, we would not appreciate the clarity. Without the unknown, we not, would not appreciate trust. Without the pain, we would not appreciate the joy. Without the worry, we would not appreciate the calm. And without the darkness, we would not know the light. A reading from the first chapter of John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God. 
He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. May God bless the reading of these words. In this time of silence, please focus your gaze on the candles. The light cap represents whatever you wish it to. A wish, a memory of a loved one, a memory of some other loss, a hope for the future, and a light of love. From the first epistle of John. We declare to you, we declare to you what was from the beginning, what we have heard, what we have seen with our eyes, what we have looked at and touched with our hands concerning the word of life. This life was revealed and we have seen it and testified to it and declare to you 
the eternal life that was with the Father and was revealed to us. We declare to you what we have seen and heard, so that you also may have fellowship with us. And truly our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. We are writing these things so that our joy may be complete. This is the message we have heard from him and proclaim to you that in God is light. And in God, there is no darkness at all. May God a blessing to these words. Let us pray. Holy God of hope and consolation, you care lovingly for each one of us. We come before you seeking your healing, seeking your comfort, and seeking your presence. You who know the grief and pain of the world, you meet each of us in our aching hearts. May you hold us close until the day dawns a bit brighter and we find we can walk in delight once more. God, may you open our ears and our hearts to hear the promise of our faith and the words of hope spoken in your name. May you help us to understand the Christmas story is for us especially for those struggling with darkness and pain. May you help us to comprehend deep in our hearts that you are Emmanuel, God with us, wherever the journey of our life may take us. And God, may you help us as the body of Christ to care for each other, to be your light in the world, scattering the shadows of injustice and oppression, hate and abuse, violence and evil. May you help us to carry the Christmas words of hope, peace, joy, and love into our dark and broken world so others might come to know of your eternal love and grace. As always, we pray these things in the name of Christ, the one born into this world to be our Savior, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And from the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in the land of deep darkness, on them a light has shined. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onwards and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. May God have a blessing to these words. This poem, I believe, was found written on the wall of a cellar by an unknown Jewish prisoner in the Cologne concentration camp during World War II. I believe in the sun, even when it's not shining. I believe in love, even when no one is there. And I believe in God, even when God is silent. I believe through any trial there is always a way. But sometimes in the suffering and hopeless despair, my heart cries for shelter to know someone is there. But a voice rises within me saying, hold on, my child. I will give you strength. I will give you hope. Just stay a little while. I believe in the sun, even when it's not shining. And I believe in love, even when there is no one there. I believe in God, even when God is silent. I believe that in trial there is always a way. May there someday be sunshine, 
May there someday be happiness. May there someday be love. May there someday be peace. So please join me in saying, I'll come, I'll like God. Somewhere in the dark of night, a baby cries. And that cry is our hope, our peace, our joy, and our love. The grace of God has appeared for the salvation of the entire world. The light now shines in the darkness, and the darkness can never overcome it. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to all of God's people. Go in peace. Amen.